Without wasting your time, we are going to share top 5 3D scanner. The product links are in the description and in first comment. The number 5 on the list is Matter and Form. Matter and Form combining superior performance with intuitive usability, the Matter and Form 3D scanner is an affordable, high resolution 3D scanner that is compact, portable, fully assembled, and easy to use right out of the box. Use your Mac or Windows PC to produce accurate detailed color scans at resolution qualities that match your top. What more expensive scanners can achieve? It works with almost any 3D printer or online printing service, and it allows users to scan solid items to create a digital 3D model. It is also capable of producing intricate high-resolution 3D representations, recommended computer specs. Well, it does work first of all. The thing feels very much like a dime store toy. Now please, don't let that be overly derogatory. In forming your opinion, it is actually very well designed. Someone put a great deal of thought into it, but the plastic housing and the lightweight put me off. It folds up like a little Barbie doll, carrying case that folds out into a doll's dressing room or something, but in the folded state, it takes up very little room and is very well protected performance. It was very difficult to get the driver to load and be recognized. The hunt for the driver was about an hour's worth of frustration that really should not be an issue at all. I am working on a Windows 7 and had to upgrade to a Windows top just for this. It worked fine, so it may have been a Windows issues which has not been uncommon. Expect the scans to take quite a while. The instructions and tutorials are full of this advice. Scans take up huge amounts of computer memory, so the best advice I can give is use a dedicated computer strictly for scanner use. For first this is the only really portable table scanner. The quality of the scanning depend from the scanner setting and the room lighting condition. This last condition is crucial for every laser scanner which you use to achieve good results. You need to study the good documentation that you can't download from the website. Not very good texture. The software is constantly being improved the customer assistance is efficient prompt response to the questions below some screenshots of a scan of a fossil shell no editing the number four on the list is xyz printing full color xyz printing full color i downloaded the xyz printing software that did a diagnosis in my computer and it came back saying that my computer would run the scanner very well i watched youtube videos and read reviews and after watching a couple of people have success I thought I would go ahead and try, I should have known better with XYZ, especially since it is taking an insane effort just to get them to reply to my emails about a failed chip and a filament spool. I got the printer today and installed the software exactly as stated I followed the instructions to the T and updated the software I ran it, and this is what I found, if there is any black color on the item you're seeing, the scanner will not see it at all, it just shows it as an empty area. Here's a fun little thing for you to do right now. See how many things are around that don't have black on them. The camera is insanely sensitive to losing its tracking and failing. I did not get a single successful scan. I tried, tried and tried. I tried my head and it wouldn't see my beard hair. I tried putting a small toy elephant on a turntable. It would only create a blob. I tried a red ball with dimples in it. It wouldn't see the ball. I am very technologically inclined. I have installed and set up my smart home router, security system program Arduino, design 3D models and print 3D models. I am absolutely not inexperienced when it comes to computers, tech networking, and software. I really believed that I would be able to get this thing to work. I was sadly wrong. Please listen to the reviews of others here. This thing may work, but the greater chance is that you will be disappointed. Even when the camera does work, the results are extremely disappointing. Based on my other experiences with XYZ I am honestly not too terribly surprised, I was tempted for a split second to reach out to XYZ for tips, but then I remembered that I have been trying to talk to them for three weeks now about a bed chip in a spool of filament I'm not going to risk trying to communicate with them for a month and have the return window on this thing close, should have paid attention to all the other negative reviews here but I wasn't expecting top quality scans at this price and I thought maybe some of the other folks with bad experiences just didn't meet the computing specs or something wrong, this thing just doesn't work, period not bad scans but not working at all after multiple attempts across multiple computers, installing all the latest drivers, updating windows, all with machines that well exceeded the minimum requirements, this scanner was never even recognized as existing by the XYZ scanning software. The number 3 on the list is HE3D Open Source SICLOP. 
HE3D open source CICLOP, first of all because it is completely open source which means that the hardware and software are available to everyone, you can buy or make yourself by purchasing certain components and making the remaining 3D printing. Being a D-Kit makes it, to date one of the cheapest scanners, the CICLOP 3D scanner has revolutionized the world of 3D scanning a little, this 3D scanner is designed for anyone who likes to tinker and play with technological objects the CICLOP purchased by me on Gearbest came after 10 days of waiting and disassembled piece by piece, it took me about an hour to mount the completely, to do this, I followed a video guide on the purchase page, one must say that the part of the installation was definitely the easiest I'm going to talk about it in a little, while they recommend it for experienced users, but I am firm convinced that 3D scanning with this tool is accessible to everyone, of course you have to be willing to tinker a bit between software, settings and adjustments, the Cyclop is a 3D scanner that works for triangulation, it has a webcam in the middle and two lasers one on the left and one to the right of the camera. Both lasers and the camera focus on a point creating an imaginary triangle knowing the angles of the triangle, the distance between the lasers and the camera, the software can calculate that distance between the camera and the red point of the laser drawing the depth, the scanner then forms the object on the software comparing different distances at different points of the objects, rotating them on the scanner platform to make it faster instead of focusing on a single point, you use a vertical line scanning many points vertically at the same time, the original parts of the scanner can be made with a 3D printer the manufacturers decided to put all the scanner's print files on thin or free encouraging people to print the scanner and improve it by putting their own this is part of the open source philosophy of trying to educate and engage everyone as a community. There are a couple of factors to take seriously before scanning that affect quality more than we imagine the first is the light with which the platform lights up, make sure there are no shadows another factor may be the surface shear of the object, if the object is shiny or reflective, it will be difficult for the camera to properly scan because the laser will be reflected on the object, this is a very practical scanner and one of the cheapest on the market because it's an open source scanner, hardware and software are always improved by both the company and the who contribute as they can I would recommend it to those who like to tinker with technology, if you are tech savvy, this scanner can be very inspiring. The number two on the list is 3D Systems Sense 2. 3D Systems Sense 2, I just thought I would post my thoughts. After using a 3D Systems Sense 2 for a few hours in hopes it helps others, I was looking for a scanner to scan engine compartments for the purpose of manufacturing exhaust products. My business is small and cannot afford the scanner I truly need when researching. Hobby scanners found the Sense 2 or structure scanner were the most popular. I ended up choosing the Sense 2 since don't have initial scans of random objects in my house were pretty decent, similar to that of what saw online of human head scans not perfect, but definitely gave good enough resolution that you could post-process the file and use it next. I tried a few engine compartments on several different cars, this did not work well at all, it was very hard to keep the scanner tracking and it had a very difficult time picking up the different depths different components, the scanner really does struggle with Black reflective surfaces expected, holding a flashlight with the scanner did help some, overall I'm impressed with how well it works on medium-sized lower detail objects, I am excited to see where this industry goes in the future that being said, my final thoughts are that a 3D scanner's uses are very limited and the technology will be more frustrating than anything to those looking to use it for more than. The number one on the list is XYZ Printing 3F1. XYZ Printing 3F1, it starts with poor photocopied instructions, in the box just sheets of regular old paper stapled together the instructions, have poor photos and use jargon, technical device terms that they just assume you understand, after struggling with the instructions for a while, I just went to their website and watched a 3 minute video that explained everything I'd spent the last hour trying to figure out I wish they'd just put a card in the box please go see our setup tutorials before you do anything, we managed to get it all set up 
but I couldn't create an account, so I couldn't use their software, yep, the printing software requires as online account, and their online account system appears to be down at the time, I tried three different email addresses and never got back my verification email, so I create an account, yes, I checked they don't have an account, can't launch their software, can't launch their software, can't print anything other than the sample on the South Dakota card.